We had a great launch event at the ARP to show everyone the Land Cruiser. Uh, this fella here is a silent chain. It's a key part of our auxiliary transfer case and uh, it created some problems for us on the day. Uh, we came up with a short-term fix and have since implemented a long-term fix for the problems encountered and you're going to learn about that in this episode. So today we're going to talk through the transfer case in a little bit of detail. Some of the thought that went into it, what we learnt when we put the thing into operation, and move forwards from where we are right now. So let's jump into it. So the transfer case is the box that creates the mechanical connection between the output shaft of the electric motor and the Land Cruiser drivetrain. So inside here is a chain drive, uh, but it's not any, it's not a conventional type of chain. You know, we saw that a typical transfer case for a modern four-wheel drive, as you can see, runs a, a silent chain. You know, when you look at these chains, like chains do stretch. Silent chains have got interesting geometry in that they are relatively stretch tolerant relative to conventional chains, uh, but they're not infinitely tolerant of, of stretch. And when you study the designs of automotive transfer cases, what you don't see is any kind of chain tensioning device. And tensioner, chain tensioner is fine if the chain's only ever going to run in one direction because you can put a tensioner on the slack side of the chain. Um, but if you've got a reversing drive like you have in an automotive scenario, you never see chain tensioners. So we designed something that would work in theory, but what we found was that in short order, the chain indeed did stretch. So we had to work out why and work out what we do about it. And the why was so obvious in retrospect. So all the manufacturers pre-stretch their chains. So a chain will stretch a lot in the beginning of its life and then that sort of settles for a while. Yeah, we're rookies. We put a, a fresh chain into a vehicle and took it for a drive and yeah, we found that we were just stretching chains to a um, relatively unusable uh, state in, in like, minutes. So I'm going to talk you through, I guess, what our technical contingency response was just to keep the show on the road. The deeper redesign that was undertaken to actually incorporate a adjustment mechanism that we can take up slack so that we'll have a transfer case that's going to be reliable while we develop our own internal understanding of how these chains stretch and settle over time. I spoke to you about once the chain is stretched, we needed to come up with a, an immediate reaction to that to be able to get the vehicle running there and then. Um, so without being able to change any of the hardware, we need to add something in to take up the slack in the chain. So classically that would be done with some sort of chain tensioner. The solution we came up with was a 3D printed part that would fit in the casing like this. Um, that just um, on the slack side of the chain in forward drive just pushes the chain off its axis and takes up some of that um, slack. I've also done some tests with a sample of this um, submersed in um, the gear oil we're using. I drilled the hole in the top so I could see if it's if it's porous, it's going to fill up with oil, which it hasn't done. Um, it's taken on a bit of colour, I think that's just in the surface and it's not obviously degraded, it's not you know, sticky or, um, you know, it's still, still a hard plastic, it's not gone gummy or anything, so um, that's a good sign. Okay, so that, that's, this is a, um, some of the spare parts we've got. So this is one of the stretch chains and one of the spare of printed inserts. You can see how it keys into the, the casing so it can't move sideways and then it's obviously uh, wide enough that the casing holds it this way. And then just the, the tension in the chain holds it, um, holds it down. So it's interestingly, as these chain, chains stretch because of the profile of the teeth on both the the gear and the, and the chain. I think as the chain stretches, the, the pitch of the chain changes and that would cause misalignment with the, with the gears. 
but in actual fact what happens is the, the chain sort of rides up the teeth slightly and just sits slightly higher on the teeth of the um, of the gears and so it's all still still aligns um, even after that stretch and that stretch is only you know in the one or two percent region so it's not not a huge amount of stretch but this has been installed in the car for several weeks it's it's not in a huge a huge number of kilometers but it's has done some work and been we put full load thousand newton meters through them through the motor through this system and it's not degraded we've um changed the oil a couple of times just to see if there was any particles of plastic in the oil and that's all come back clean so we haven't yet taken this out uh, to inspect it physically but um so if there's not there's, there's no plastic in the oil there's you know all the plastic still attached to the to the tensioner so pretty confident with that I've just installed this secondary shaft in the shaft housing. Turn this around so it's at the minimum minimum adjustment position. Um, see with this eccentric locating of the, of the bearing in the shaft, as you rotate this housing, um, it will move the shaft sideways to add tension to the chain. Um, see on here we've got this um, marker dot tells you where in that adjustment you are. So uh, with the dot at the top, that's the minimum, minimum adjustment. If you move it all around the bottom, it's maximum adjustment. That's the chain on with the, the adjustment setting at the minimum setting. And this is one of the uh, chains that's already been run, so it has got some stretch in there. You can see how much slack there is in there. So if we rotate this bearing housing, we should be able to take up that slack. see by the, the marker dot, this is roughly half the adjustment for the system. Yeah. Pick it up almost all of the slack in that chain. So I'll leave it there for now and we'll do a final tightening once it's all together in the casing. If you find this interesting and you want to follow this journey, then please like and subscribe. There will be plenty more.